What's going on, everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to another fantastic episode of Beastly Indies. And today, this episode is sponsored by Today. This actually happened to me today, and so I knew I wanted to get in front of my microphone and tell you guys about this. So I'm sure you guys have seen To Catch a Predator and all these great shows that lure scammers and, and pedophiles out of the woodwork and expose them for the world. Well, today was my own particular episode in real life of being scammed and how you deal with it. Now, as a disclaimer, I, d I didn't tell a lot of you guys this last year, but I was actually scammed out of my identity last year. It was a very, very rough situation I went through. Uh, it's a very scary feeling when you're checking your bank account and you're seeing money just coming out of it live. And the feeling you have when you're running around your house trying to get your bank on the phone uh, after realizing that you've been scammed is a very, very scary feeling. So uh, sometimes you have to live and learn. And unfortunately, I had to learn a really tough lesson last year. Uh, fortunately for me, uh, all my stuff was covered. I have really nice insurance with my bank. And I learned a very valuable lesson uh, not to get scammed and to be very, very cautious on the phone dealing with people you don't know. So. Today, I was at work around 9 o'clock a.m. I got a phone call from a gentleman. And uh, I didn't recognize the number. Uh, it was an area code I didn't recognize. But I don't have bill collectors. I don't have, you know, debt collectors calling me. So it wasn't an issue. I answered the phone. Uh, the gentleman told me he was calling uh, for my, my younger brother. And my younger brother lives up north. He lives in Ohio. Uh, and so I live in Georgia. And usually people don't call me for my brother. And this gentleman on the phone told me, you know, he was calling because he was working for a delivery service and they had a special delivery or an important delivery that needed to get to my brother. And he was having trouble uh, locating my brother. And so my natural instinct after dealing with what I dealt with last year is to be extremely cautious with people on the phone. So I, I asked him, would it be OK if I contacted my brother for him and had my brother call him back? He said, sure. And uh, I proceeded on my day. My wife called me about 20 minutes later. Uh, and, and she texted me, actually. She texted me and told me that she had, the same guy had called her phone. She didn't recognize the number, so she let it go to voicemail. And uh, he actually left a voicemail telling her the same thing, uh, that he was trying to contact my brother and uh, that he had a special delivery for my brother on Monday. My brother needed to be there to pick it up. Or he would face le legal troubles. And so uh, my wife texted my brother. And then I texted my brother. My brother was at work too. He texted me back. He said, what the hell is going on? I said, I don't know. There was a guy uh, who who uh, tried to contact you through us. And I don't know how he knows my number or Kate's number. But he knew our numbers. And he knew your name. And uh, he said for you to get in touch with him. He said that you used us as some type of uh, contact. Anyway... My brother had no clue what the hell I was talking about. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and play the audio from the call for you guys right now. Hello. Hey, good morning, sir. Uh, this is Joseph with Capital Delivery Services. I'm trying to reach Isaiah. Uh, we have a delivery for him. Your phone number was listed as a contract for Isaiah. Uh, I live in Georgia. Isaiah doesn't live anywhere near me. Yes, sir. I realize he doesn't live there, uh, but your phone number was listed as a contact one. I'm having trouble getting a hold of him. Okay. Well, uh, would you like me to try to – I'm at work right now. If I contact him, would you okay. like me to give me your number? Yes, sir. That'd be great. I'd greatly appreciate that. All right. Well, what's your number? 972. 972. 793. 793. 0765. And the delivery – I'm sorry? Joseph. Or Joe is fine with Capital Delivery Services or CDS. Uh, the delivery is coming out on Monday. Okay. Can I have your first name, sir? Brett. Okay, that, that's. Yeah. Uh, Brett. It, it is listed as Brett. I just wanted to confirm, though. Okay, well, Joe, so I'll try to contact, contact him and hopefully I'll get something in the day and, uh, have him give you a call. You said that the delivery is going which day? On Monday. Monday. All right. Yes, sir. It's just a courtesy call to make sure he'll be around the time for it. Thank you so much. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye. So, yeah, that happened. And, of course, I'm sure you gamers will recognize a Hadouken! 
from Street Fighter because uh, that I didn't I wanted to omit some personal information uh, as far as last names and things like that. But um, anyway, my brother told me he said, "Hey man, I didn't use you guys for any type of reference. I have no clue what's going on." And so I said, "Okay." At that point, I went into Beastly Gamer the uh, private eye mode and I went online I started looking for you know this number the number the guy called me from I was looking for the area code it was from Texas and then I started getting online and going through different websites so I came across this website it's called reverse phone lookup one dot com and so if you guys ever have this kind of situation happen remember that site I came across it just randomly googling different things and they had some information about this phone number I started looking at the testimonials of people who have been called by this number and it was really shocking it was that eye-opening moment where you know that someone who means you harm someone who means someone you know harm is trying to uh, do some type of scam and I felt really really relieved at that moment because I was like all right I know what's going on it's not gonna go any further than this now I can alert everybody around me who I care about of this type of scam and I'm really happy to let you guys know about the scam as well so if you know anybody who gets a call from this particular company from these people you know exactly what it is so here's some of the testimonials that people were talking about on September 25th a person said I just received a voicemail from this number a lady's voice stating that they were some kind of United Delivery Service or something that in three days on September 28 2015 I would be receiving documents that required my signature by law and that I must be there to receive and sign for said documents and that I was also to show two forms of ID one being a picture ID the other must be a social security card that it would be between the hours of 12 and 4 p.m. and that if I was not there as required to be they had the authority to show up at my place of employment where they would get my boss involved same as the other posts above and when I just called them back there was a recording asking me to leave a message. Obviously, I did not leave a message, but I am trying to find out who these people are. This is harassment. It is unacceptable. And unless these so-called people had the police with them or are the police, they had better think twice before coming to my home, especially after a call like this. So whoever this person is was obviously pissed off. And I feel it. You know, uh, these people were obviously criminal minds doing something very unscrupulous the next testimonial says they called me and left a voicemail it was a lady that called she said her name was melissa and she works for the united states postal service and they have a delivery of sealed documents to be delivered to my home between 12 and 4. if i'm not home they are required to come to my workplace i asked what it was about she transferred me to a guy who says he works for hc and associates he said i borrowed some money from check cash and asked for an advancement which was wired to my account, but I never paid them, so they are going to fight me in court. He said I borrowed $400, but to clear my legal matter, I would have to pay $524. He became very threatening on the phone, saying most people just pay the money to clear everything. I told him I would have to call him back. He said, why would I need to call back? I said, because I was going to get a lawyer. I hung up and did my research and found out it was a scam. And here's two more. I had got a phone call from this number, and they stated that they would come to my home and have a package to sign for me between the times of 1 and 4. And if I was not home, they would come to my work and have my supervisor there to sign for paperwork. First of all, wrong last name and I was married. Also harassing my husband, calling him and then calling my phone. I called the number back and no answer. Voicemail. I don't like this and not cool. They also said that United Delivery Service was coming to drop it off. This company identified themselves as United Delivery Services. They called me and left a voice stating that I was to receive a package in two days and to get the package I had to show two forms of ID and if they couldn't contact me they were going to come to my employer and contact my supervisor to us, I'm guessing use as a witness. Well I called United Delivery Service and was told that this is a scam. So look, this guy of course called from United Delivery Service, uh, sounded very unprofessional. He knew my name, which, of course, my name is public information, uh, and he obviously knew my wife. So either they're going through, you know, particular phone companies records because my phone and my wife's phones are through T-Mobile, uh, maybe going through phone books, uh, maybe looking in the newspaper because, you know, I just went to a funeral. My name, uh, my, my wife's name, my brother's name are all in the obituary. I don't know how they're doing it, but what they're doing is this. They're calling people. They're stating that they're from United Delivery Service. They're letting people know that they're going to be receiving a delivery within three days. 
that said individual needs to be home in order to receive that delivery. You have to have two forms of identification, your ID and your social security card. Now, if you show any person both of that, basically you're giving away your identity. They know everything about you, your date of birth, your full name, your social security number. You give somebody that information, they can pretty much destroy your life. And so, naturally, me knowing this and having gone through something very similar last year, I was livid and a little upset, <laughs> to say the least. Anyway, I called my brother and told him what was going on. Uh, we talked about it. I talked to my wife. And luckily for me, she's a pretty smart cookie. She knew not to even engage with this crap. And uh, I called the number back. And uh, I, I got this crazy voicemail, but I left a few choice words for this guy, Joe, and the female Melissa, these scam artists. And and not all scammers are Nigerian, guys. They're scammers right here at home who will do everything they can to destroy your life. Uh, and scams are consistently growing and they adapt. It's like a virus. They, they change with the, with the atmosphere. And so this is something obviously new that's going around. You guys share this video with everyone you can who, who has a credit card, who makes their own money, who has a life that they're, they're trying to better and has a family. Anybody out there who may just receive a random phone call, share this video with all of them so they know about this new United Delivery Service scam. It's a horrible thing to do to people. People like this need to spend a long time in prison, in my opinion. And uh, hopefully this video will help somebody out there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. But more importantly, I hope that this MD helps somebody out there. Be sure to let me know in the comment section, have you ever come close to getting scammed? Have you ever been scammed? It's a horrible, horrible feeling. If you ever have been scammed in life, like I have, you learn a lot from it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Be sure to share this video on social media. Share with all your friends and family. And more importantly, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.